Hi, Dave Youngquist, Michigan Toy Soldier. Today I thought we'd try something a little bit different. I was just sent a product for evaluation from Alex at Grass Tech. And what this is, is a static grass applicator. I tried the product over the past week and built this little diorama board to, uh, to find out how, exactly how this product works. Now there's been products like this in the past, but they've been very expensive and frankly didn't seem to have the the same covering power that this particular one does. So after you lay your basic groundwork in, I used a piece of plywood and we covered it with some just dirt you know from the backyard, spray painted everything. The next step is to add the glue. I used glue from Woodland Scenics number one because it dries absolutely dead matte unlike most glues. I covered the rocks with wet tissue paper because after doing a little bit of the hand brushing of the glue, I'm going to switch to a scenic sprayer, just a spray bottle, to get that glue over all the large areas and we don't want to get any of the grass on the rocks. Again, this is the Scenic Cement from Woodland Scenics. It's about the best stuff I've ever used. And just spray this liberally over all the areas that we want the grass applied. Again, it dries dead matte. I use this stuff all the time. And we're making a big mess here, so make sure you do this in a place that's easily clean. And once we start with the flocking, it's going to make a bigger mess, so don't do it in the living room or the kitchen. We're ready to flock. Okay, now I've taken the grass tech, I've attached the alligator clip to create the uh, static electric charge in the board, just used a little uh, small nail there, and I've filled it with a number of different colors of flocking, and so the next step now is literally to turn the unit on, and we start shaking. Now what's great about this is, you know, with regular applications of static grass, what happens is that the grass just lays flat. What this does is this electrically charges the grass to stand straight up. And we're going to do this in two steps because I like the way it looks <clears throat> with the light coating, but if you want to get a, like a real thick, heavy grass, you need to apply this twice. You see how simple this is? Really, really, really works. Now again, it's messy and make sure that you sweep or vacuum everything up and this static grass can be reused. Okay, that's a good first coat. We'll be back in a couple minutes after this dries to add the second coat. So I've let the first coat of the static grass settle in. Now I'm just going to hit the lower areas again with the glue. And we're going to go back over because I want the grass here to be much, much heavier. And just doing the same thing, but we want a real nice, real nice coverage. We're going to let this sit up for about 15, 20 minutes, vacuum up the excess and we'll show you what she looks like. All right, we've got everything cleaned up. Um, you can really see how simple and easy this tool is to use. The Grass Tech, great product, highly recommended. It comes in three different models. This is the medium size one. They do have a smaller one if you're doing you know, figure work or what have you. But for train enthusiasts, diorama builders, armor modelers, anybody who needs to create realistic scenery simply and cost effectively, this is the way to go. It's available for special order on our website. And as always, thanks for visiting Mishtoy on YouTube.